Hello everybody and welcome back to Cities Skylines, where you're probably a little concerned to see me still staring at this intersection. And, uh, I have cut out a lot of iterations on this. None of them seem to work. This is the latest desperate flailing attempt here. And, uh, yeah, they're just ignoring the bypasses mostly. Like, we have a large amount of, of cars coming this way. And then immediately turning up here, rather than just simply taking the bypass and merging onto the highway properly. Of course, there's also the problem that the busy lane here is the inner lane rather than the outer lane. Which does complicate this bypass slightly. But for right now, I'm going to try my best to mostly ignore this this episode, and I'll work on it off camera. For right now... We have some residential demand, so we're going to create a residential long block there. We have some commercial demand as well, so we'll create something along the lines of that. Now, it's been a little while since we put in any police stations. We'll put in a police station there and a fire station down over here. About like that and that. Excellent. That should help matters. I think I'm also going to put another fire station in over here. And we can see that this region is developing, which is fantastic to see. This region over here is also developing up. It's not there yet, but it's, it's getting there. And I like to see that. I am going to just make sure that this entire area here is zoned. There we go. The police station that we literally just built is now on fire. I mean, that is topical for right now, I suppose. The police station being on fire. Yeah, that's topical. We don't have any power over here. So I'm going to just run a power line. That's also slightly topical. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. And let's just work on a few abandoned structures for right now. I've been spending a lot of episodes on traffic recently, and so I am trying to make that not really be so much of a thing this episode, even though traffic is honestly one of the things that I find most fascinating about this game, is traffic flow and dealing with that. Of course, the slight problem there being... I have a fundamental disagreement with the way that the pathfinding works, which I do find slightly annoying. But I do very much like the uh, traffic optimization element. Oh, hello. This right here is a collapsed metro station. Which would have shut down our whole metro line. I had no idea. That must have happened in the tsunami. I guess that explains why our traffic was uh, picking back up. I just figured it was because we weren't serving enough people. Okay, our metro station is definitely running now. That's excellent. I want to just double check here that our metro is maxed out, and it is indeed. Hopefully that'll lessen the strain over here. And I do see that they're now starting to utilize this bypass, which is good. I mean, this is a better bypass than this one. Maybe what we need to do is instead of connecting this in like this, and I don't like having this here, maybe what we really need to do is take this up over to here and then connect it in with an on-ramp. So essentially what I'm saying is that we would have an on-ramp over here. I know I said I was trying to not work on traffic this episode. I, I can't help myself. I have to do this. The problem must be solved. Okay, we've got some pillars over there that we would have to avoid. We could connect in over here and just utilize this. We're going to have cross traffic with 
this over here. But then they would pathfind their way over here and then onto the highway, in theory. Heavy on the theory there, of course. So this would go there, and actually we would... Con I'd really rather connect it in over here. We could maybe curve this in. Like that. It's certainly not pretty. We could maybe pretty it up a little bit by doing something kind of like this. It's better. It's still a mess, but it's better. It's a better mess. It does feel like our traffic situation has died down a little bit, what with the Metro actually being back online. It would have been nice to know that the Metro was offline, <laughs> that's for sure. We still have a little bit of residential demand, and it looks like they've actually already fully developed this meta block. Or, not meta block, but long block. So, we'll give them another one. We are fully developed on water over here. I do think that we should probably drop a crematorium over here. As well as maybe a medical clinic. Something along the lines of that. Not enough customers. We're working on that. You just wanted tons and tons of commercial for, like, a couple of years, and nothing else. <laughs> Whoa, is that industrial demand? And it's gone. <laughs> but it does look like we are getting well-developed over here, as well as over here. Briarwood Park is actually being worked on. And it's starting to get tapped out. The Victoria District will be as well. Yeah, we probably do need another snow dump over here, don't we? I'll just put one down over here. There we go. That's currently full, but this one can now take over while that snow melts. So we do have some power issues down over here, apparently. I'm wondering what exactly is going on with this. Um, it looks like we just need to run some power up this direction. And I'll just hook in these little exclaves. Or enclaves, technically. Something like that. Okay, so we've got some abandoned structures down over here. Excellent. Let's check in over here quickly. Okay, traffic is pretty much back to where it was. Fair enough. We'll get rid of a couple of these abandoned structures. There we go. And I actually kind of want to put in another long block here of residential, since we've still got some demand. And I'm hoping that this will create some industrial demand. What's this? Ah, it's a power line that I don't believe is necessary any longer. Uh, we should probably investigate this. Yeah, this power line up here is definitely unnecessary. This power line's necessary, of course. But this over here is no longer necessary and can be gotten rid of, which means that we have some extra areas that we can zone industrial, like that. Excellent. I'm trying my hardest to ignore this. I'm not sure it's going super well. <laughs> well more abandoned structures over here. That's not a huge surprise. Is that another one? Yes. Whoops. Get out of here, you abandoned structure. Nobody likes you. And one more over here. Okay. 
fantastic. So I really feel like this is on the downhill slide. I'm not quite ready to stop Coldover just yet. We still have a few more resources to extract out of the out of the ground here. But we're definitely doing well on that front. Briarwood Park is getting tapped out. And the Victoria District is starting to be developed a little bit. Is that just a crime thing over here? Might have been. I'm trying so hard to ignore this, I just can't. <laughs> Yeah, this is the core problem here. Oh, is that a stop sign? This should not be a stop sign. It's not, they're just stopping. Okay. There's a lot of people also going southbound over here, which is fine. They can do that. That's the reason why this connects into the grid structure, after all. This is such a huge mess. But it's the best mess that I've come up with so far. <laughs> I'm sure I'll come up with something else, but uh, for right now, I definitely just want to try to leave that. Come back to it maybe next episode. And I think, as far as how much longer this series is going to go, I think I'm going to end it on episode 40. So after this one, there's going to be 38... Correct. Is this 38? I think this is 38. There's, so there's going to be 39 and 40, so like two more episodes. I haven't decided yet what's going to follow this, but uh, we're definitely getting close to the end of this particular playthrough of City Skylines. Okay. Listening to my favorite music and talking to people. So uh, this doesn't connect. There's a window into another room where Alex sits and moves all the knobs. I wonder how long that's been like that. <laughs> Slope too steep. Okay, we'll just have to take this back. The only restaurant with a service are dinosaurs. Our animatronics are so real. You'll take now that connects. Serving you tea bones. A pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki. Excellent. A is that should also teriyaki. help reduce the strain on this intersection at least a little. Fine. Like our Stegogetti, our Raptor Burger In theory. Rex, or the pile of crumbled sticky brownies. We do still need a little bit more commercial, and so I'm just going to zone this full area over here. Commercial. Dine in or dine -o. Excellent. This is Cities Radio. The best music Still some residential universe. demand, and I think that's a really, really good thing. I'm going to zone this area residential. Let's check in on our school situation. We're good on elementary schools. We could actually use a high school, so I'm going to put one in, I think, over here. That should be powered, in theory. We're not good on universities, but we actually don't care about having highly educated people in our city. So that is completely fine. If we were interested in that, we could make a, a university district rather than the university structure. But that's not something I'm actually interested in doing currently. Also, we've made some small amounts of money from this, which is always nice to see. Briarwood Park is definitely getting close to fully developed. Well, or at least tapped out in terms of its oil. And then we'll have to switch it over to probably forestry. This region is also getting close to tapped out on forestry, which is always nice. Pretty soon we might actually start seeing some industrial demand. I mean, we did see a tiny sliver earlier. I just know, in the back of my head, that this intersection is here. And it's calling my name. Solve me! And I'm just like, but I've tried a lot. 
<laughs> I'm just bad at this, I guess. I mean, traffic is not flowing terribly right now. And I think a lot of that is because the metro is back online. Like, realistically, if we were to hop into the transit view, view node like this, like, even this metro, the one that was collapsed, is servicing quite a few people. I do wish that we could increase our number of trains here, though. Because, like, look at this. There's no train at the station right now. One just pulled in. So how long... Let's see, we're at 1546 in the video. Okay, that was only three seconds. How long until the next one? We are at... 1554 as it goes off but how long on this line so it was 1546 on this line yeah this is uh another one came in on this line first actually there we go so, that's like 30 seconds between trains. Actually, more. That's like 45 seconds between trains. We could definitely use more trains. This is so disgusting. <laughs> I want to just tear it all out and try something completely different. And that's what I'm going to do. I, I'm sorry. I can't resist it anymore. This is it. I have to do it. There is no option here. Okay. So we're going to leave the on-off ramps that are there. And I did have a slight idea. We're going to put in a new ramp over here. So an on-ramp, off-ramp, on-ramp, off-ramp, on-ramp, off-ramp. Next, I'm going to have our highways simply connect over like this. Just a simple connection. These highways are going to go like this, and then they're going to go underneath like so. I need to get this down to ground level. So it will go directly under. That's giving space already. Oh, we're not actually technically at ground level. I needed to go down one more. That's ground level. Okay, so that connects in like that, and then like that, and then like this. This comes directly over to here, and then connects in like that. Okay, so that's that step done. Next, we just simply build a bypass over this way. That'll do. A straight line is fine. And in fact, I kind of prefer it. We'll do that. And this needs to flip directionality. Kind of like this. Okay. So far, so good. Then we do a simple connection down over here. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Because I was just thinking, maybe we just connect these right here. And we bypass this over to here-ish. Getting some space already occupied. Okay. Something kind of like this so far. And then the idea is we need traffic that wants to come this way and go northbound. So that would kind of come out over this way, kind of like this, except I'm probably just going to use an exit for this. That would work in theory. I mean, I hate it. We could simply just do on-off ramps over here. Let's 
giving space already occupied, and I think it's because of the pillar here. If I were to extend this to drop a pillar right about here-ish, that's giving slope too steep. Okay, we'll take that out of there. Drop a pillar there, and then connect... No, 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 no. Want to drop a pillar there. Okay. This would become an on-ramp. Space already occupied. Hmm. Because this would be an off-ramp. Which, of course, is also having a pillar issue. We do something kind of like that-ish. That moved the pillar awkwardly. Okay. This isn't coming together like I had in my head. <laughs> I'm going to be real honest about that. This is not what I was thinking. So, I'm going to take this out to here. We're going to kind of make an Academiopolis style roundabout ish. Except I'm going to make it slightly different. That slope too steep? That's weird. But we need to have a pillar here anyway. Is that slope too steep? I'm not sure I could see how that slope too steep. But, uh, okay. I guess that slope too steep. It must be on the right, or on the wrong height level. That's four up. Does it need to be three up? I don't remember. One, two, three. No, that doesn't work either. So I want it to be like that. Well, maybe we just need to take it back over this way. Kind of like this. One, two, three. Now it's space already occupied. Hmm. Do we have to curve it? I would kind of prefer it not be curved, though. If we have to curve it, I suppose. I suppose that we can't that slope too steep. So it is. That's my fault. One, two, three, four. And I guess we have to curve this. Like so. So we have it be simply this. Not sure how helpful this actually is. It'll offload some of the strain onto these ramps here and here, which should probably be two lane if they're not already. There we go. Something along the lines of that. I have a fair number of people attempting to go this way, and maybe they need a bypass for that. Because that cross traffic over here is slightly problematic. And this merge in over here. Like, that's the thing, is a lot of times these highways, they, there's three turn lanes, guys. Just use one of these and then merge in later on. When there, when there isn't a traffic jam. <laughs> okay. So. Here's the question. What is the point of having this route? 
Well, so that they can go northbound, right? How many are actually doing that? There are no cars on that. There's one. I'm guessing many of these are. If we go into here, we can actually look at the route that they're taking. Going straight, straight. Okay. So there definitely are some routes that are going to go northbound, obviously. But... What if we, we removed this, turned this into something kind of like this, and took it... I doubt we can fit it underneath here. This would be the ideal, right here. Hmm. How do we go about doing that? I don't know, and I'm going to put this back for right now, because this is basically the end of the episode, and I will almost certainly experiment with this a little bit once I... Oh, this is causing an issue. Of course it is. I want this to be a straight line. Highways are so finicky in this game. Okay, there we go. I will almost certainly work on this a little bit off-camera because that's just what I do. And this is definitely going to create more traffic issues right here. And I'm well aware of that, but I'll see if I can figure something out off camera. But we've only got a couple episodes left here. In the meantime, of course, we are waiting for our resources to get utilized. And for now, you can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. Can you hear it? Listen closely.